hey guys good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are it's a brand new day over here in this part of the world it's a brand new morning and i'm feeling really really energized and ready to go today has been a kind of it's still morning and it's been quite productive i prepared the boys for school as usual i will always wake up by 6 a.m prepared the boys for school we got to school on time i think about 7 40 ish we got to school and i went to see a friend who lives close by to their new school so I, I did that and i am right here trying to have breakfast but the creative that is me will not let me have my breakfast in peace but i'm here as i'm trying to have my breakfast i'm also trying to do a list for the market if you watch my vlogs you know that i had a bride from last year who was meant for this year okay she came to take her measurements last year and we're going to be working on her dresses this year i'm excited the wedding is still far off but i'm starting early because you know we like the early birds i'm over the situation of things in nigeria if you guys already know prices are crazy so we're trying to start get a, a head start before prices start skyrocketing and then you know the thing with costing is you cost and then you go to the market and it's something else so i'm trying to avoid that and yeah i am my bride we um finalized yesterday and we are good to go so i'm going to be going to the market one of these days i don't know when yet but i want to try to vlog that process i wish i had like a vlog as this assistant because it's really really difficult to vlog in the market so uh maybe i'll just get ayo to follow me to, on that day oh by the way i didn't even mention ayo came around yesterday you no know, the first day and she stayed over to, and left yesterday i really really enjoy her company so it was just nice having her around even though we didn't have like work down for her to do she didn't come to work per se per se she just came to say hi and you know see everybody she came around and then you know we just had some quality time together she even helped me out as well we packed up the fabrics leftover fabrics that we've not um, sold yet we packed them in four big very gigantic sacks i didn't even realize how big those stock the raining stock is we've run out like to me if you ask me now for fabrics i'll be like oh we've run out of designs but apparently those clothes have a mind of their own <laughs> they still filled up four sacks so we did that um day before it's dimensions around and it was just a nice time with her as always she's just a very very nice person to have around so i always like to have her around so i'm thinking for this um bride i want to really vlog unlike the unlike um my sister-in-law i didn't really have that time to you know start vlogging every single thing because you guys already know apart from the fact that i did almost all the dresses for the wedding i still had regular customers like normal customers christmas rush and all that so i didn't have i didn't even think of filming any of the processes because there was really no time for it but i'm trying to make a difference with this one so yeah i'm going to be taking you guys along on this one the whole process and yeah i'll probably just be updating it i'm not going to keep it till august i'm going to show you guys what i get up to from now but i probably not as, as always i will reveal the out final product until my bride has done how i did that as my own policy like i don't like my customers i don't like people seeing my customers dress before them or even before they have done their events so i always like them to have their events before i reveal so i will i'll take you guys through all that i'm going to go to the market as i said but i don't know when exactly i'm trying to do a costing i also have some other customer orders that i have costed and yeah i'm also going to be buying those alongside hopefully i'll be able to vlog i'm trying to do my costing here my laptop is open right in front of me i'm trying to also get out some um clips to edit for a video that i'm supposed to put out today i haven't even started editing but i am hoping to edit that video today and put it out today hopefully yeah so that's where we are at my food is just here getting cold and i'm talking and talking so yeah i'm trying to do my costing and you know get on with it i'm going to be ordering the things i need to order the things i can get in the market i'll get in the market and then you know just get along with things okay so um i'm going to be leaving you guys now let me finish up my food and i'll get back to this vlog later okay <laughs>
doing earlier i'm now trying to in fact i've done it already <laughs> and if i remember, remember to vlog guys <laughs> i already started clearing out our bookshelf this shelf right over here had all our books so i packed them into that carton on the floor i'll take you guys closer so i'm trying to trash what i need to trash these cd plates are all going in the trash so the books fit into this carton here and then this has some shell um, frames that was on this shelf these are some frames <laughs> off to school like i can't wait for friday to be over because i'll be able to sleep sleep in later tomorrow Hi. tomorrow morning i can sleep late can sleep how late. any time you want right yes. yes so let's go drop this bunch of off in okay. school <laughs> why <laughs> anyhow if you can hear in the background this is probably like serious construction behind i'll probably show you guys so it's just been noisy i'm really going out of my mind like hearing they are drilling and i don't know they're trying to okay so it was an it was a it was a house that was abandoned on the first level so now they're trying to break the foundation to reconstruct so this is what we listen to every single day once it's morning like around seven they started till let's say around seven in the evening or eight o'clock in the evening we are hearing this every day it's just frustrating i've not been able to film at all because i've been busy packing up like my house is looking helter skelter right now there's a makeshift cutting on the window because i've already removed all our curtains washed them in fact i'm doing a, lot, doing a whole lot of work i use the washing machine to wash them and i iron them and the house is just open <laughs> apart from the rooms where we are still sleeping in that's my husband's room and the children's room so that's the only place that still has curtains but i'm going to be washing that on the day we are moving so i'll just throw them in the washing machine in the morning so that our rooms will not just be open to the whole world in the night so that's just it you guys it's just a whole lot going on right now now it's the house yesterday and it is um already done all the painting is done everything is done the only thing that is left now is the um cleaning which they are going to be doing today they are going to be cleaning that place today so we are good to move as soon as they finish the cleaning so tomorrow next tomorrow we will be moving the house is going to look for a van that moving van that is going to come take our stuff but i've just been packing what i can in bits things that will definitely need to be boxed or bagged i've been doing that gradually over the past one week i've just been busy and all over the place but i'm excited because very soon it'll be over i'll just be fitting in things where they're meant to be it'll be easier to rearrange and pack anyway so let me just show you guys what everyone's looking like right now so this is our steel room no windows look over here <laughs> we i use this old bed sheet we had to like do like make a cut in here because we have our neighbors here and it's just very open in the night this other side because of the clothes hanger outside there it doesn't look so open in the night like in the night just not so open because of this one like covering up a bit and yeah these are the curtains that i removed from there all washed and ironed um let me take you guys inside pardon the noise so this is the boys room where we used to keep the fabrics before i've packed up let me turn on the flat i've packed up the 
fabrics so in this four sacks one two three four sacks this again i must go that i used to empty their clothes this, one, this one's hanging uh i'm not going to take everything there there's their old um, uniform is right there the new ones we are going with then the old ones i'll probably just leave it in the house i don't know yet but i'll probably just preview a lot of things there and this other cupboard has some of their clothes still inside but i think we'll probably move with it like that so that i don't have to start rearranging i don't know if it will work but i'm, I'm thinking we'll carry it with the, with the cupboard then over to my room <sighs> so this is what we're working with here all these things are packed these are my work materials and all all packed suitcases i haven't packed my personal stuff they're all still all over the place my clothes are still in the wardrobe and everything is scattered then on the bed i'm going to throw all this ones into a bag and then probably box things in here i'll probably also box them in this carton in this box yeah i'll box it i want to show you guys my husband's room oh, his own he hasn't stay packing but there are a lot of things <laughs> he hasn't stay packing that's his own to deal with and yeah this is your girl in her natural habitat <laughs> in her natural state of cooking you know, chill and this is what's going on outside right outside my the window here i had to close the windows i had to close the windows because the noise is mad but this is what these men are at work like serious work the noise enjoy it with me so i haven't started packing up my kitchen and that's because i'm throwing a lot of things away there but i'm going to be using a um carton to pack what I, the food stuff the remaining food stuff that is here i'm trying so hard not to buy more food stuff but the food stuff that is here i'm packing in a box uh i don't know i probably use my car to move my kitchen because i feel like i don't want anything damaged like things like the plates um the breakable plates i'll probably just move those the things in this kitchen in my car then food stuff i don't want to jump pack them in the truck so i'll probably move my kitchen with my car and every other thing will go with the truck so yeah, everywhere is upside down. I'm trying to make breakfast. The hubs is around. So I'm trying to make breakfast. It's actually past 11 and we haven't eaten. Like, we have not eaten. We've just been talking all morning. Talking, talking, talking. And just making plans for the future. And yeah, I decided to just come out here to make breakfast. Before I decided to show you guys the, the updates. Give you guys an update on what's going on around here. I will get back to you guys very soon. These children are doing their homework. Um, my bed sheets just arrived. I placed this order today, this morning, and it arrived just now. Like, I'm amazed at how quick the transaction went. I got these bed sheets from you guys, probably even must have heard it in Nigeria. Such beddings, I ordered them from such beddings, and so just very, very prompt. I'm here to unpack it to um, you know, feel the texture. I cannot say much about the quality yet until I use it, but I just love how fast they delivered the bed sheets. I ordered six sets of bed sheets. But I had to order, do a pre-order for um, Dubai. Seven. I counted the six. seven. This one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. 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 So um, I did a pre-order for duvet covers because I have duvets just to get duvet covers. But yeah, this is it. I can't wait to start using it and see what the quality is like. I hope it's good quality. And yeah, from the reviews I saw, it seems like it's going to be good. But yeah, until we use it. But I just love how fast their service was. I got it so prompt. Like I ordered it this morning, paid around I think 10 10 a.m. And this is um four four ish thereabout, and it has arrived. No hassle whatsoever. So yeah, I'll give them hundred for their swift delivery. I'm not going with any of our old bed sheets. I'm trashing every single thing. All these ones are here now. They're dead i'm changing everything and yeah my duvet cover will be coming in three to four working days as i said so yeah i thought to show you guys the packaging you know let me just show you one so this is one of the best sheets i don't want to start wow. packing anything until but is this for you and my daddy yeah that's for you and daddy. Let me see which one. guys yay yeah. how about the rest for um one is for my own room this one should be for my own room. I got, I got two four by six and two um four six by six bed sheets. Move your hand naked. Yeah. So this one also what for the boys' room. It's similar. But now this one. Wait, so they not put two of it. Too. And now no, this one. Similar one. 
They are similar. They are similar. They are similar. But I got it. Mommy, this one. Your... Oh, yes, yeah, this for your room. I got it. The duvet cover is already ready. I'll probably make duvet covers for them later. But they are duvet covers are still good. So I just got the sheets that will go with here. Existing duvet cover because they hardly even cover themselves with duvet. This boy is. Anyway, so this is it. I'll show you guys when I unpack. <laughs> Same price as that one. Yes, yes. Yeah. The pass, the pass. Huh? Hey, I'm fine 16, on this. My phone. Sixteen thousand. <laughs> no, then with the plants, how much? The plants have yeah. their own price. This one. I like this plant. How much? This one is thirty. Thirty. This one is twenty-five. Wow. That's what is that guy now? Okay. How much? That one? How much last? That's the last. That one by the door there is 20. 20. This one is 20. It's almost 20. Yeah? That one. This one is expensive. You see this one how much? With this flower, this thing. This one? With the flower. No, just the flower, how much? This thing's it cost here, deal. The flower is 20. How much is the flower last? How much is the flower last? Go outside. So nice. I can't wait to have my own house. I'll have like a farm without plants. I'm just having green things. So now I want me to buy two now. Nah, hey, check no one if there's anyone wanting to buy three. Yo, I don't subscribe. So this is what we are doing for now. I like it's not bad. We'll take this one as. One has grown a little bit, so that it's not be too. Soon. How much do you say it is? But why am I seeing paint on it? You need that man. No matter. Okay, can clean it. One thousand naira. One thousand. Okay. White stones. Don't buy uh, this one. Three buckets. You buy three buckets, are you? Yes. See a bigger size here. Does it have the size of um, buckets? This bigger size here. The bucket. Bucket. Yeah. That bigger. Yeah. Now for my aloe vera, that the one I have, there's no space again for it. Feeling nice outside here. Feels like nature around here. You know what I feel like? I feel like carrying all this to our house. Enough space, not that of our tiny house. <laughs> not that our tiny house, like a ranch kind of house. Then transfer all my plants. I like plants so much. I don't know. If, I think I'm because of my dad. Though. He likes plants. Eh? So me and I like. He likes plants a lot. Everywhere green, like village. <laughs> no, no toy. 
Which one is okay, Nabi? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just add one first. To make you use more spoon. You gotta give us plenty of spoon. Huh? Thank you, Thank you. I am still on the road <laughs> because the boys hobby, hobby is at home with them now and um, so on my way back from um, from um, picking them up from school my friend who um, oh so shaky if you watch my vlogs you see that I introduced you to you guys to glory my help my for my help <laughs> so she left like she she did go travel with us for Christmas and then after after New Year the plan was for her to come back but apparently she had other plans i don't know so she um didn't come back and i'll just talk about it later but she didn't come back anyway so my friend who introduced me to the agent that helped me get her in the first place just called me that there was someone else i'm going there now to went to her house now to see the person still from the same agent and uh, you guys i'm already actually done with agents but since this one is readily available now i just want to go see if it's someone i would like and then see if um I can employ her as a help but anyway that's what I'm up to now that's where I'm up to now um hopefully it goes well I'm actually done with agents because I'm actually trying to find um, help from the village which is better for me and um, it's just easier like these people that are already in Lagos and their dramas I don't know so um, I'm still going to be looking for help from the village because I don't want someone to wake up after one month and tell me they're no longer working. So that's it. I'm going there now to the person. Hopefully this one works. But if it doesn't work, I'll probably not do it again. I'll just focus on... I'll definitely continue my search in the village, which is on right now. There's someone actually. But let me just get this one. Once I get a help that I like, I'm going to just disengage this one. But let's just see. Because I really, really need the help for this whole movement like doing it alone is a whole lot of stress even though that yeah they will get um help okay sure, um, what they call it temporary help but i need a more permanent help because it's a new house it's just going to be overwhelming and all you guys i'll get back to you i need to call my friend so that they can give me access into her estate i'll get back to this world later